Hot stocks burning bright in today's session, though the group is still, as you can see, broadly lower for the year. Key legislation on cannabis, including the Safer Banking Act, stalling in Washington, but investors still optimistic that the drug could be rescheduled as soon as next year for Boone in the industry, and it could be that way for more on that outlook for next year. Let's bring in Boris Jordan, Cura Lee founder and executive chairman. The company began, by the way, trading on the Toronto Stock Exchange earlier this month. Boris, it's a pleasure to have you here on Fast Money. Thanks for taking the time with us. Let's talk about whether you are optimistic about 2024 and can it be better than 2023? Good to be here. Thank you. Yeah, anything can be better than 23. 23 was a terrible year for the sector, uh, driven by slower growth, higher cost of capital, um, uh, and a lot of impediments because of regulations. I think that uh, we're seeing a better uh, framework for 24. Uh, you know, we have New York that just went adult use. That's a it's the second largest market in the United States. We're hoping that Florida will likely flip to adult use uh, next year. Uh, we're seeing Germany move towards adult use in March. Sorry, um, a, a medical light. So there's a lot of growth catalysts going into uh, 2024. And of course, you know, the elephant in the room is whether the U.S. federal government steps up to the plate and does what Germany's doing, and that is removing cannabis from the narcotics list, or in, in the U.S. case, moving it from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3 which would obviously free up a tremendous amount of cash in the sector because today the sector pays a 70 percent tax rate uh, that would drop to a normal tax rate uh, like any other U.S. business. Hey, Boris, it's Tim. Congrats on Toronto. And, and frankly, it, it really is a, an exciting dynamic for institutional ownership. Um, but when you talk and you spent you, know, you spent a, a career um, both dealing with big institutions, building companies, uh, you know how they think um, outside of the, the structural limitations on their ability to own cannabis stocks. What, what, what are they what, what do you think the pushback is on owning the sector? Because we we both know there has been zero new institutional capital, even though you come out of the last couple of quarters, uh, purely certainly showed that generating free cash flow, even on the existing footprint, these companies have never been run better. Um, and yet, you know, there are structural issues, but there are also impediments to the institutional follow through. What, what do you think they are? Well, I think there's three. I think the number, the biggest one, of course, is, is, is the plumbing. Uh, and, and in the case of Cureleaf, um, we fixed that now with uplisting to the TSX. We're waiting in early January to get uh, some of the larger banks to start custodying the stock, which we're expecting will happen. Uh, and then we can start marketing to large scale investors. I think the second reason is, Tim, large scale investors, because of the plumbing problem, haven't been looking at this sector. So I was on the phone with one of the largest long onlys recently, and he said, Boris, you've got to re educate us. We haven't been looking at this sector for three years now because we couldn't own it. Now that we can own it because you're on the TSX, you got to come back in. So I think education, coming back with education and starting to having analysts cover the sector is going to be important. Obviously, rescheduling. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, you know, most of these companies are producing free cash flow, but we could be producing a lot more if we rescheduled and the profitability will become greater. And so I think it's a wait and see market. People don't believe the federal government anymore. And I don't think they're going to get involved heavily until such time as they actually see the federal government move um, on schedule one to schedule three. And we're hoping to see that in the first four months of next year. The latest they can do it realistically, given all the various legislative impediments in the elections, is April. I personally think the federal government, if they're going to do it, is going to wait till April to do it, because that's what they always do. But we'll see over the next three or four months.